everybody, it's Dr. Lauren here from Chesapeake Bay Aquatics and Physical Therapy. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about, you know, home exercise programs. Obviously, with most of us self-distancing and quarantining in our houses, you know, with gyms being closed, a lot of people have turned to doing, you know, workout routines in their house, you know, maybe joining some type of online workout routine. You just need to be careful um, with, you know, trying to exercise, especially if you, you know, haven't exercised in a long time. I wanted to provide you with you know really four tips to be safe as you're exercising at home. The first one is to go at your own pace. If the you know the instructor or the people in the video are going too fast for you, I recommend definitely going at your own pace. You don't want to go faster and try and keep up with them and then you have improper form, you know, that does lead to injuries. Um, you also want to make, you know, tip number two is take some breaks. Um, like I said, especially if you're first starting out, you know, that way you can kind of ensure them you know, the muscle is getting to rest for a minute before you go back into it so that you can keep proper form. Obviously, you wanna hydrate as well. Um, kind of tip number three is don't push into pain. If your knee is starting to, let's say, bother you with lunges or squats, then I recommend maybe not doing the lunges as deep or the squats as deep, or same thing, you know, if you're trying to do, you know, an overhead shoulder press and that's hurting your shoulder, you know, maybe skip that for that day or try and go down at a lower weight you never want to push into pain because this can cause inflammation, swelling in the joint, and next thing you know, you have knee pain, shoulder pain, etc. cetera. Um, the last kind of tip number four I have is if you haven't exercised in a while, I definitely don't recommend doing too much jumping initially, too much what we call plyometric exercises. These exercises are very, very good for your health, for power development, things like that, but if you haven't you know, exercised in a while, you might not have that type of you know, muscle control and things like that to keep proper alignment, proper muscle activation as you're jumping. So I always say either, you know, decrease the amount of jumps you're doing, not do it all, or slowly ease your way back into it to prevent injury. So those are the four tips that I have for, you know, slowly easing your way into exercises. Please reach out to us if you have questions regarding, you know, either your homework exercises you got from us or, you know, starting an exercise routine and we'd be happy to help. Please stay safe. Hope to see you soon.